Uh, hi. So we have right now we have understood about a lot of different kinds of headaches till now. So today let's understand about toxic headaches, rheumatic headaches, and headaches due to cold and sinus. So what are toxic headaches? Uh, what is a hangover that heavy drinkers complain of? It is nothing but a heavy head that aches severely. And uh, the, eyes, uh, the eyes starts feeling as though they will burst through their sockets. And no amount of medicine seems to relieve such headaches. Uh, and it drives the sufferers crazy. So alcohol, drugs, and even coffee and tea causes toxic headaches where the toxins have been absorbed in the system. So most of us erroneously you know, uh, believe that coffee and tea relieve headache. Temporarily, yes, but coffee and tea have created more headaches than they have cured. So overindulgence in these and other soft drinks actually causes headaches in a regular person. So uh, if headaches happens, we end up drinking coffee and tea. But this is the starting point for the next cycle of headaches. There are, uh, you know, uh, uh, many ladies uh, who usually say, you know, if morning, if they don't drink coffee and tea, uh, their headache increases. I have a lot of my weight loss clients uh, who tell, you know, if they don't have coffee or tea, uh, their headache increases and they end up eating whatever they like. So uh, this is a toxic buildup over a period of time. Uh, it has built up so much that we, it is, you know, getting very difficult for us to come out of it. If we have addiction to coffee or tea, and if we don't drink that, if we are getting headaches, so that means a lot of toxins are there in the body, which is uh, aggravating us to, you know, getting into these kind of indulgence. So the best way to uh, reduce toxic headaches is reduce the consumption of alcohol drugs coffee and tea if at all you already have uh, you know if at all you get headache because you didn't drink coffee or tea that means they are the toxins they are the toxins produced by coffee and tea is present in your body which requires more of it to uh, you know, uh, reduce the pain. But this is, as I've told, it is temporary. It, it can't, uh, you know, solve the problem completely. Even if without drinking coffee or tea, you're getting headache, skip or avoid coffee and tea for a week. If headache increases, try a lot of form remedies, try some medications, but come out of the addiction of coffee and tea. That is the only way that you can come out of toxic headaches and also alcohol. Uh, coming out of alcohol is very important. Quitting alcohol is very important to reduce toxic headaches. And another kind of headache is rheumatic headaches. Uh, especially this happens due to the change of seasons, uh, especially from hot weather to cold or damp conditions. And it affects some people who are very sensitive to such changes. Such persons are prone to headaches which get aggravated during the night and in the early mornings. As the sun rises, the headache becomes less severe. It may be tolerable or it disappears um, when we are in a moment or action, when we are involved in some work, we tend to forget about those headaches. But if we are idle, you know, this kind of headaches keep ticking uh, uh, on our forehead and it never reduces. It may be, uh, you know, for some people it may be tolerable. They don't require medications for it. But for some people it becomes intolerable. It is usually if it starts in the morning, it is relieved towards the noon uh, or uh, uh, and again returns when the sun sets. So rest only increases the pain which affect the skull, jaws, and temples. Heavy rains and uh, dampness bring about these headaches in regular pattern. So uh, whenever the season change is happening during those days, we need to be very careful uh, and take the necessary precautions. So as I've already told, you know, just small changes in the environment which is triggering like uh, uh, nervous headaches, which happens because of small change in the environment. In the same way, even rheumatic headache because of the seasonal changes, it happens. So that means like not for everybody, uh, seasonal change can induce a headache. Only for few people who have a lot of deficiencies, who are weak, whose immunity is very low. Only for them, like how on seasonal changes, the immunity of kids or the immunity of few adults uh, decreases in the same way when season changes, uh, headache starts increasing to them. That means they are weak, you know, they are got a lot of uh, 
deficiencies this ha has to be corrected a proper blood work and along with that the symptoms and one by one we start adding some micronutrients and start changing the diet habits within three months um, this can be reversed completely and uh, uh, even if you start getting uh, uh, maybe after this maybe if you are getting uh, headaches because of uh, seasonal changes every alternate days weekly twice or thrice it gets reduced to maybe 15 days once or 30 days once so it can this can also be taken care of if we start increasing our immunity levels start concentrating on the micronutrient levels in our body and the next kind of headache is due to cold and sinus. So this usually happens because of inflammation of the mucous membranes and swelling and dryness in the nasal cavity uh, causes this kind of headaches. It is usually felt above the eyebrows, above the nose and above the forehead. Okay, and heaviness is felt on the head and the face, which is relieved while sneezing. Uh, and when discharge comes out of the nose, usually at that time, this kind of uh, headaches can be reduced. And to avoid this kind of headaches, we need to avoid cold. We need to come out of sinus problem. So that is the root cause of this kind of headaches. So cold, uh, frequent cold should be uh, taken care. It should not frequently cold and sinus symptoms should not come for which we need to increase our immune levels uh, by again changing the diet, reducing the sugar consumption, especially you can increase your immunity levels, making sure that the vitamin D levels are very high so that uh, uh, immunity issues uh, because of cold and sinus will be reduced. 30 is not sufficient. 50, 60, 70 levels of vitamin D is very important. Very high dosage of, vit of vitamin D uh, on the same day or taking 60,000 uh, international units weekly once, you know, it's good if it, your uh, vitamin D levels are very, very low, but uh, that will not solve the problem because as soon as you stop taking those vitamin D, maybe after three months or six months, again, when you check your blood reports, blood work is done, uh, again, the vitamin D levels would have reduced. So a daily intake of 2,000 to 4,000 units of vitamin D, uh, along with uh, something called liquorice and uh, that is very important to increase the immunity and avoid these kind of headaches. So hope this information has helped um, and uh, you know, uh, nobody should suffer uh, because of headache and end up taking a lot of painkillers, which can have a lot of side effects. So understand the kind of headaches you have got and uh, change your treatment plan according to that and get in touch with us if you want to know more about um, uh, the kind of headaches you have got and what kind of treatment options are available. Thank you so much.